the function declaration within the class the function declaration within the class is replaced by is replaced by is replaced by actual function definition actual function definition in C++ actual function definition inside the class actual function definition inside the class a function defined in a class a function defined in a class is treated as is treated as inline function so here inline function we will get one more question for this what is inline function at the time you have to define only this thing a function defined in a class is treated as inline function or you may write like this to define a member function inside a class the function declaration okay within the class is replaced by the actual definition of the class actual definition inside the class okay then the function defined defined in class is treated as the inline function for one more question you will get this as your examination this as question one more question for your examination and then one point is here only small functions only small functions are defined only small functions are defined inside a class Come now, I will explain. To define member functions inside a class, okay? If we want to define the member functions inside a class, then the function declaration within the class, the declaration of a function which is given within the class, is replaced by the actual definition of the member function within the class. It is replaced by the actual definition of the member function within the class and that type of giving a function or a defining a function inside a class is called as inline function and only the small functions are defined inside the class remember this thing okay now we will come to member function outside the class then later i will give you both the syntaxes both the examples and I will do comparison then you will understand the concept come to member functions outside the class this is about inside the class ok next come outside the class using member functions outside the class to define to define member function to define member function outside the class declaration outside the class declaration outside the class declaration then condition must be there to define the member function outside the class declaration. Then we shall see what is the condition there to define
you must link the you must link the class name you must link the class name of the class of the class with the name of with the name of member function okay with the name of member function here what is to define a member function outside the class then at the time the name of a class which we will take and that name of a class will be linked to the name of the member function later in syntax i will show the next point here next point here is we do this by we do this by proceeding we do this by proceeding
नेम ऑफ द मेंबर फंक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्कोप रेजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर द टू डॉट्स आर कॉल्ड एज स्कोप रेजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर एंड व्हेन द स्कोप रेजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर इज यूज्ड टू लिंक और टू डिफाइन द मेंबर फंक्शंस आउटसाइड द क्लास नाउ आई विल राइट द सिंटैक्स ऑफ फंक्शन इनसाइड द क्लास देन फंक्शन आउटसाइड द क्लास आफ्टर दैट यू विल कम टू नो व्हाट एक्चुअली दैट मी so come i will make two columns okay inside class definition then outside class definition inside class definition and then outside class definition First, I will write the syntax for both general syntax. Okay, syntax. Okay, how can we define a class? Okay, inside the class definition. How can how can we give the member functions inside the class definition? Now I will take one example. Syntax is like this. return type return type then class name return type class name give space then class name then just after the class name okay we write here itself then member function member function like this we can Give the syntax or class definition. Sorry, using member function inside the class. Now come to outside the class definition. Okay, the syntax is the syntax is here. Return type. Look here. Return type. Okay. Then class name. Okay, which operator we will use to give the member function outside the class? We will use the scope resolution operator, and then member function name, member, member function, member function name. Then after that, within the bracket, number of arguments, argument one, argument two, up to argument. Like this, we can do inside the class. We we'll just do class name and member function. Okay, but outside the class, we have to do along with it and then class name. Then scope resolution operator, then member function name. Inside the bracket, we can give the arguments. Okay, this is the syntax. Now I will write example for both of the things. I will write examples for these both the things. First, we can take a class as a rectangle, just to display the length and width, and we will use inside the class. Okay, class inside the class. Okay, a rectangle. Okay, use of member functions inside the class definition. Oh, one. Okay, private. Private then int length okay here space is there 
पेनिट एंड स्पेस ओके ब्रेड ऑफ द पब्लिक नाउ यू हैव टू लुक इट पब्लिक देन वाइ गेट डेटा वाइ गेट डेटा ओके देन व्हाट वी विल डू सो वाइ get the data then what we will do here start here is c in read okay length then after that c in breadth then close okay see get the data just reading length and breadth then after that void display Okay, void display. The data which is read that is going to be displayed. Open. Okay, see out. Length. Then see out. Breadth. See out length and see out breadth of that. Close. the open brace here okay then of this close the class by for put a brace okay if you want to see i will continue this in the next time okay here okay after see out let i will continue see see out Break. Okay, break. Then here open brace is going to be closed here. When the class is open, then close the class here. See, member functions are using two member functions. One is void display. And the one is void get data. They both are used inside the class. See, class is open here and it is closed here. After continuing, come here and the class is closed here. So both the member functions are used inside the class. Okay. Now take the same example. Okay, for writing the member functions outside the class. I will take the same example. Class. rectangle okay then open private int length okay then int breadth okay after this open void Get data. I will take the same example, but I will write a member function outside the class. Then void. Yes, I will put a display. Here I have taken a display. Okay, take display itself. Display. Okay. Now close the class. Class is closed. Then now we have to use these member functions. outside the class what we will do return type class name scope resolution operator member function and then arguments what is return type void it is a return type okay then class name void class name rectangle after that scope resolution operator okay then member function Get data. Get data. So we have not taken any arguments inside here. So we will not take any arguments. Just close. Okay. Now go one. Give these two things. C in length and C in breadth. Okay. Close. Okay. First member function using outside the class. Return type, class name, scope resolution operator, member function.
Okay. Then if we have given any arguments here, then we can continue with the arguments. So after that, the next one, void that is the run type. Then class name is rectangle. Rectangle. After that, scope resolution operator. Okay. Then display. That is member function. Display. Like this, we have to write. Okay. Then after this, I will continue here. After this thing, okay, I will continue here. Here, start with one brace is open here. Okay, so space congestion is there. So I am writing here. Open, then enter the output things. That is, see out length. See out length and then see out breadth see out breadth then close then after this thing you have to write the main function of that thing you can be able to write the main function hope you have understood today's class and in our next class we are going to discuss few more things okay like this we can write outside the class and like the same member functions are written inside the class but here class is closed member functions are written outside the class from here i have continued there and i have closed so like this we can use the member functions inside the class and like these things we can use the member functions outside the class so you have understood all these things if you have any doubts you can ask me personally thank you